Okay, question number seven in this first of the foundation papers. And uh, it's all about Alice earning some money. Uh, so she earned 120 pounds, she worked for eight hours. What's her hourly rate of pay? Well, let's think about it. There's a couple of ways that you could do it. I could just do what I want to do is 120 divided by eight. Okay. So how many eights go into one? Zero, one left over. How many eights go into 12? One, and there are four left over. Eights into 40, that's a four, goes five with no remainder. So 120 divided by eight equals 15. So that's her rate of pay, 15 pounds an hour. But we could think about this in another way. If you don't like doing that method, I think we should learn it and I think you should get good at it. But you could kind of scale it up. Let's pretend she gets paid £10 an hour. So 10 times 8 is going to give us £80. Or we could just scale up, couldn't we? Um, we could do 11 times 8 is 88. 12 times 8 is on 8 which is 96, 13 times 8, um, which is 104, and then we're going to do 14 times 8, which is not quite there, and we can see we're getting closer to 120, 112, so 15 times 8, hopefully you've seen, we're going to get the same answer. So if she works for 8 hours, and we know her total is 120, she must have been getting 15 pounds per hour. Okay, second part. It asks us, um, it says she earns 120 on Monday, she earns 100 on Tuesday, and she earns the same amount on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so they were the same three days as each other, and she earned 550 overall. So, 550 pounds. If we take off 120, then take off the 100, that's going to give us, well, that's taking off. Um, that's 450, 350, 330. Okay, you could have combined this up first and found out that it was 220 and done 550, take off the 220. So you could have added it up first, but you'd get the same answer. Now what I want to do is 330 divided by 3. So that's how much you got paid for those three days combined. If you share it out because it's the same, which is divided by 3, hopefully you can see that's just £110. If you're not sure, let's have a quick look at that other method that I showed you. How many 3's go into 3? Once with one none left over. How many 3's go into 3? 1. How many 3's go into 0? None. So it's 110. So she earned £110 on each Wednesday, Thursday and Friday.